So if we see a differential equation like this, there's probably a what that we want to solve, like a polynomial equation. And what would the polynomial equation in this case be? Yeah, so r to the fourth minus one equals zero. Okay. So let's say we want to solve that polynomial equation. What would we do? Yeah, we would factor it. Yeah. So this factors like r squared minus one times r squared plus one. Then the r squared minus one factors again to r minus one, r plus one. And then the r squared plus one doesn't factor. But we can extract the roots from this data that we have. So we have four roots. And what are those four roots? Yeah, good. Plus minus one plus minus i. And now from like just a really quick extension of everything we've been doing, do you think we can write down a solution to this? And what would it look like? So what would the roots plus minus one give us? No, c1 e to the x. No, c1 e to the x. Yeah, plus c2 e to the minus x. So the plus one root gives us the e to the x, the minus one root gives us the e to the minus x. And we don't have any repeated roots here, so there's no like business with like multiplying by the x to boost it, right? We don't have to do that. And then what do the plus minus i roots give us? Yeah. So c3 cos x plus c4 sine x. And that's it, right? And now this is why we spent like so much time on the second order ones is because the higher order ones, they're kind of the same if you're in this world or whatever. Okay, cool.